Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for November 1st, 2020. Uh, what a difference two weeks makes uh, since my last video. Um, a lot of uh, the leaves are gone off the trees, a bit of a chill in the air, had to break out the jacket uh, this morning. Um, kind of a rainy day, uh, and yesterday being Halloween kind of cut down on, uh, uh, I think, the amount of people setting up, uh, selling things. Uh, but I got a few things to show you. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, first up, a uh, little set of, it says Wustoff on the block, uh, but they're mostly Henkel knives. Uh, and really good shape too. Clean them up a little bit. No scratches. They weren't used that much. Um, What I normally do with these is uh, we'll sell them individually and uh, maybe group the steak knives together, sell the bigger, larger knives uh, individual. Uh, that was 15 for the entire set. Uh, they should do well. We'll have to look them up. Uh, we'll get the uh, go by the model number on there and uh, let's see what similar ones have gone going for uh, but should do good with those everybody loves a uh, good quality knife uh, some uh, another box of 223 Remington uh, uncertain times ahead that's that seems like the uh, the theme for the uh, entire 2020 um, next week will with the election will be a uh, I don't think anything's gonna happen uh, but uh, you never know. Better to have it and not need it. Uh, jacket still with the tags and it says uh, Trump Plaza. Got that for uh, five bucks. Uh, model. Uh, it was 20 bucks. It's all there. Uh, these go for between $50 and $60 on eBay. Got a uh, canteen. Uh, this one was shoved down in the in the cover, but I really don't want this thing. What I want is the cover. And the cover is a nice World War II uh, dated 1943. Uh, I'll try to wash it a little bit. See if we can get some of those stains out. Uh, that was uh, seven dollars. Uh, the gloves are really neat, high quality gloves. Probably from the, I'm gonna guess twenties or thirties. Uh, they have a little button on them here called a uh, Walrath. Uh, it looks like Bakelite, uh, but the insides, it's too bad they don't fit my hands, uh, the insides are fully lined and as soft as could be. Um, they feel great. It got some condition issues, uh, but for $10, um, you know, this was one of those things. Uh, they really don't go for a whole lot of money on, from what I could see, but uh, they're so... Uh, so unique and uh, uh, good quality. I uh, had to have them. So uh, got this belt. Uh, they call this. This is either a. Uh, they call it a uh, souvenir belt. Sometimes they're called hate belts. Um, this belt was wrapped up in this. Uh, gas mask bag um, from World War One. Uh, really cool just uh, an assortment of buttons uh, love this one here Australian military forces uh, look like Canadian English Australian there's Australian Commonwealth military forces MGC Royal 
Army Medical Corps. And it kind of goes with the, uh, the Red Cross there. Uh, Canada Bar. Uh, EST. Not sure what that is. Um, Wolf. Uh, some more medical badges. And just great piece. Um, a lot of soldiers had these uh, souvenir belts. Um, they brought them back from the war, made them up themselves. Um, just a really neat piece. Not quite sure if I'm going to keep it with the bag. I kind of hate to break it up. It's been with that bag for over 100 years. Uh, so it may keep them together. Not like the bag's worth a whole lot of money anyway. Got a little, little hole in there. But uh, it was $60 for the belt and the bag. Uh, if I was to sell it, I'd probably got to do a little more research on it. But I think um, we're going to be somewhere around $150 um, mark for that. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I got an ice bucket from the uh, Mirage. Uh, it's got the liner and everything. It was uh, $6.00. And that's about a $45 bucket. Uh, some Quacker Factory stuff. Leather shirt. Kind of an out, Outback uh, a Safari theme. Another denim one there. Uh, they were 18 for the pair. Uh, wife got her some things. Smart nails. Whatever that is. And some uh, nail polish. Uh, the rosaries. Lady at the flea market had a huge box of rosaries I was there when she pulled them out of her car and uh, she had a sign on the box three dollars a piece so I pulled a huge lot out here and uh, asked her for a better price and she added it all up said how about 120 for everything so it's about about 60 different items here so uh, I'm not going to go over every single one in detail, but uh, rosaries, I don't know. Uh, the story was her mother, she, her mother wasn't even Catholic, but every time she came across a rosary, she would buy it and just kept it in a bag. Uh, I can kind of see why. They are, it's quite a variety of rosaries and I have sold some in the past the nicer ones um, uh, oddly enough people like the ones that have been carried around a lot and show wear uh, such as uh, this piece here it's all worn down uh, but uh, let's go over a few here nice uh, mother of pearl one there a uh, new one, Czech, uh, Czech Republic, uh, glass beads. Love this one with the uh, heart beads. Uh, the red, unusual uh, cross there. The seeds on that one. Um, oh, this one is kind of neat. Maybe somebody can help me out with this. I'm not Catholic myself. A uh, little screw on the bottom here. And this opens up. I should have opened it up before. This opens up, and there's a piece of paper in there. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. With like a little smudge of mud or dirt. Um, I don't know. Um, somebody let me know what that is because I have no idea. Uh, cool piece. Uh, some more. That's just a plastic bead but kind of unusual uh, with the uh, uh, bent down cross. Uh, color coded uh, rosary there. Looks like a tiger's eye there. 
miniature rosaries, a little holder for them, uh, carved, these are uh, carved beads on there. Uh, the yellow one's nice with the uh, with the flowers. And the red one. Uh, the this one's a good one. So the whole lot was 120, but then uh, this one is the uh, a touched relic. Uh, touched relic Saint Elizabeth and Seton. Uh, look this up. Uh, this should bring around 50 or 60 by itself. Uh, we'll throw in the, uh, the picture with it. Uh, a bunch of other little ones here. Um, St. Anthony, uh, blessed relic. Uh, probably include some of those in all together. And then we come down here even more. This is a nice quality uh, rosary here. Uh, hematite. Um, represents uh, blood, kind of fitting for a uh, rosary. Uh, the pink one's nice. Not silver or anything, just costume, but a uh, nice piece. Another one, oh, this one, uh, it fans out with different uh, prayers. Um, And the gold and uh, pearl one, um, heavy one here. The uh, this one's been carried a lot. Uh, there are people that'll buy one that's been really, really worn. Um, they feel that it has good energy since it's been prayed over for many years. Uh, this one's kind of old. Uh, none of these are really silver or anything, but uh, they look nice. Uh, this one's pretty cool. It's got a, uh, so you, it moves along, keeps your place as you uh, pray the rosary. It keeps track of where you're at. A uh, nice cross too. Uh, this one doesn't have a cross, it's got medallions. Uh, an older one there. And uh, some kind of, uh, looks like Mother of Pearl. Uh, but there we go. Uh, not quite sure how I'm going to list these. Maybe group some of them together, pick out some of the better ones for by themselves. Uh, but a uh, ton of listing there alone. Uh, on to the regular jewelry. A set of uh, earrings marked... Uh, you know, it's got a designer mark on it, but uh, from the 1950s. Uh, Orioles ties, got a, uh, two of them there, three dollars piece. A couple of uh, costume pins. Uh, they were like uh, two bucks piece. Uh, I forgot to take this one out. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. I have to show this to you another time. Uh, but it's uh, just some sterling silver and uh, nothing really uh, uh, that great. There's some elephants. Um, but uh, the uh, Eiffel Tower uh, France bracelet. See if we pull some of these out here. I can't believe I missed a whole bag. Uh, a little uh, landscape pendant, some uh, nice earrings there, a little pendant there, marked uh, 925 uh, Thailand. Uh, the ring looks good, hopefully it'll be a little bit more than uh, just glass. We we'll have to put a uh, put a meter on that. Same way with a little slide. Another ring. These are all uh, just sterling mounts. There's the lapis. People love lapis. Here's that elephant ring.
if I can get it to focus, there it is. Uh, fancy looking. Let's see what that stone is. Um, little hodgepodge of uh, gems. And looks like a, looks like a hematite again. Uh, panel bracelet with uh, Chinese characters. Uh, that was uh, ten bucks on that. That was uh, eight on the uh, Paris uh, panel bracelet. Uh, the sailfish is really cool. I was hoping it'd be Taxco, but it uh, it just says Silver Mexico. Uh, hopefully, uh, it'll test the sterling. But uh, lots of times when it says Silver Mexico, it turns out not to be silver. Uh, the earrings are so sterling. Uh, with the onyx uh, stones uh, this this one is Taxco um, Mark 925 Mexico Could be a pin or a uh, pendant uh, the uh, set here the brooch and the earrings unmarked nice vintage look to them this piece is really neat. It's a uh, Elizabeth Arden. They called it a uh, vendor badge. Nice weight to it. Uh, made in France. Uh, couldn't find a whole lot of information about, out about it. I uh, found one on Worth Point. Uh, that went pretty cheap. But uh, it's the scarcity of it. Uh, kind of pushed me to uh, to buy it. Hate, hated to pay 20 but uh, I didn't want to leave it either. Uh, lives of Saints that came with the uh, rosaries. Uh, some SD Lauder white linen. Uh, I've been selling vintage uh, perfumes. It's picked up recently. I don't know why. Uh, sell about uh, probably two or three a week. Elizabeth Arden soap set. White linen, Estee Lauder, um, little uh, Pyrex teapot, mint condition, with the original box. Uh, eight on that. That's probably a uh, about a forty dollar pot. Uh, some drawer pulls, four bucks on that. Um, five and three on the. Huge Ziploc bag of uh, of pulls. Probably sell them in one big lot. Uh, last piece to show you is a uh, uh, Christmas tree holder. Uh, it'd be perfect for like a uh, aluminum tree, and it plays music. Uh, and the cool part is, if you have lights on your tree, you can plug it, plug the set of lights in here, and uh, cord one could tangled up because um, this uh, revolves around with the tree uh, pretty neat uh, very vintage uh, the box is kind of beat but uh, still nice having the original box uh, got that for 35 and probably gonna put like 125 on it uh, so that's a priority list right now uh, so there we go, keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99, and uh, my other uh, jewelry store. I'll put some links in the uh, description. Uh, so till next time, this is Will Yard Sales Vivalist, and we'll talk again soon.